Yves Klein is one of the major artists of the 20th century. He's of course the master of the famous blue, the ultramarine blue uh, that he invented and which embodied for him uh, the infinity and immensity of the sky and of the sea, but also uh, a field and a realm of sensitivity. He also, in his very short career, invented different uh, important gestures, such as the one of sizing the energy of the bodies on the series of the anthropometry, or the one of the fire painting in which he played with the power of the fire. In one of his series called the Cosmogony, he really tried to interact with the power of nature and with the power of the atmospheric elements. For example, he would submit uh, his canvases to the effect of the rain, of uh, the spring shower, of the wind, and so on, to uh, see what would uh, go finally, what would happen with this interaction and with this experiment. He started this series in the summer of 1960, uh, near uh, Cagnes-sur-Mer, along the river called uh, Le Loup, which is uh, located uh, near Nice on the French Riviera. And there he would uh, really play with uh, the mere pigment of uh, his blue, but also with the plants and uh, uh, all the elements that uh, would be along uh, this river. And he would also play and interact with the movement of uh, the branches and uh, the vegetals uh, on the canvas. Uh, really uh, trying to get a uh, drawing from nature. Uh, one of his emblematic work also uh, of uh, this series is called Wind, Wind Paris Nice Cost 10 1960. At that time he uh, would put a canvas on the roof of his car and would submit the canvas during the whole uh, journey uh, to the effects of the rain, of the wind, and everything that would happen during the journey. And this created this famous uh, Cos uh, 10. The one that is in the collection of uh, Mamak uh, called Cos 21 is really in the same vein, in the same spirit, but using another color that is very important in the universe of Yves Klein, the pink. He really uh, played uh, with uh, this uh, series of the cosmogonies, with the uh, energies of nature, with the power of uh, the elements, and uh, there is something about a, a kind of materiality of uh, nature, but also something that is really connected to a kind of uh, a Buddhist spirituality. This attention to the different energies of the world, the fire, uh, the wind, uh, the air, but also the invisible energies uh, interacting with us. And he really wanted to make it tangible, visible uh, through his work. And I think that in many ways, uh, Yves Klein is still connected uh, to us today and his work still resonates a lot, especially in this period of uh, very uh, high ecological consciousness. Uh, the way he really interacts with nature without acting on it, without trying to transform the landscape, but in this uh, respect of the energies of the world and the wish to make it visible to our eyes, is really, in my opinion, something that is really important and that relates his work to today. Because in one way, through that, he really uh, draw our attention on the vulnerability of nature, but also on the power of those energies that really interact with us.